All right. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you an overview uh, of the Grameen website. Um, first off, is, uh, are you familiar with the, is, has anybody not used Grameen here? OK, good. So I'll start by telling you that Grameen is an integrated uh, resource for, you can consider um, it to be an, a hub of data and analysis tools for various, uh, various uh, different analyses. The kind of data that we provide uh, includes genome sequence. Uh, is this a pointer? Yeah. Genome sequence, uh, gene annotations, um, variation, genetic and structural variation, and pathways, uh, including metabolic and regulatory. Um, for, um, for, the, for, um, for genome sequence and gene annotations, we uh, host currently 28 complete genome assemblies, and I'm going to show you a little picture of all of those, in addition uh, to nine um, partial assemblies of the uh, wild rices. So the 28, here is a, a little taxonomy uh, chart of the 28 genomes that we currently host, um, and those include monocots, eudicots, and lower plants, color-coded. Um, so I have to be quick because this is only, uh, you'll see. Uh, variation, we have, uh, we currently host only nine of those uh, plant species, and here is a little table, and this is all in your handout, so you can go slowly um, through them. Um, we include all of these, uh, except sorghum, have genetic variation, and two of them, the Arabidopsis thaliana and sorghum, we also have structural variation. Um, in addition, we have a preset, pre-computed, Comparative analysis. Um, oop. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Um, including uh, phylogenetic gene trees from which we are able to uh, create, uh, make prediction, or orthologous predictions. We also offer whole genome alignments and synteny maps. Oh, this one. Okay. In addition, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to show a little uh, video, five minutes long. Uh, where you'll see, uh, you, you'll, it'll, it'll give you a little tour of the different things that you can do on the website. Um, and a couple of these new functionalities are going to be, uh, you'll, you'll, you will be able to see. I'm going to show some of the gene trees that you can, um, you can uh, look up uh, for your favorite gene. Uh, and the ability that we currently have for, uh, to highlight those um, orthologs that have uh, associations with uh, interprod domains or uh, gene ontology terms. You also have, you're uh, now able to upload your own uh, variation data and uh, obtain uh, the variant effect, uh, the, the functional effect, uh, whether these, uh, these allelic variants uh, cause uh, a stop codon or missense mutations, uh, that kind of thing. Um, there are others that are not, that are not uh, 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 shown cl uh, clearly in the, is that not working? No. <laughs> um, and, um, and these are, you know, you can upload uh, your own data, data sets and visualize them on the genome browser in various formats. And you, we also have an, an assembly converter service, which is a, sort of the equivalent of, that the UC, uh, uh, UC Santa Cruz uh, has for humans and, and other organisms. And in our case, uh, you probably, if you work with either maize or rice, you would know that recently this year, both of them um, uh, were updated uh, to, new, uh, to new versions this year. So now uh, this kind of tool allows you to go back and forth between the assemblies. What you see uh, right now in the, in the, in the static uh, image is the, is the front page of the Gamin website. Um, you have, we have a lot of different um, uh, tools, as, uh, as I said. Uh, in data sets, uh, and th this video focuses on the, on the genomes, on the, so uh, the tour is going to be through the genome uh, browser. You can see uh, there is pathways, there is a uh, gamine mart that I'm going to show you later, but uh, right now we're going to focus on genomes. Uh, you see in the genomes page, you can um, select the species of interest in that drop-down menu, or you can just click one of those uh, popular genomes. Here is, uh, for example, the RISE uh, genome page, uh, if you look at the, in the, in the karyotype view, 
you can select um, the chromosome, a region of interest. If you're already familiar with that area, you can jump uh, to a certain location and you can visualize that in the genome browser. You want a smaller region, you can do that again with your, with your pointer, uh, with your mouse and select that. You can then go to uh, the overview, get, look into more detail into that region. This is zooming in. Uh, here we have some uh, blast alignments for different various species. Most of them are rice or isa. Um, and you'll see we can, we can uh, exchange uh, the, uh, change the location of the tracks. Um, now we're going to add uh, uh, another, uh, we're going to add banana, Musa acuminata, and this is going to uh, now um, sh show up um, among the tracks. Now, now you see Musa, that it wasn't there before. So you can add as many uh, species that you want to compare for your region of interest. Um, you can then export this image uh, quality, publication quality. Uh, you can visualize it in, in, an, in, in your browser, in a, in a new window, and you can save this and use it on your publications. Um, this is based on the Ensemble uh, browser. You can also dump a text for all the data that you see uh, in, uh, in your browser in a text format. This is a, uh, in, a, in, a, uh, in, in a in text form. This is a GFS format. Um, and then uh, here is going to show uh, it's going to it's going to show a comparison of the of the regions of all those uh, species that were selected. Um, you'll see how uh, uh, how uh, these uh, regions are conserved in among the various oriza species, and in the banana, which <laughs> went through quickly, is not as conserved. Um, uh, relatively, uh, then the same information, the alignments, you can uh, get it. Um, into a text into a text form. Uh, here is you can choose uh, the, the species of, of those uh, available that you want to see, and uh, there is uh, various regions that this uh, it's a hit uh, that you can uh, that you that it lines up to, um, and it's color coded. You can see variations in different um, various colors, um, and you can also get the same thing. Oh, and you can see a syn synteny. That's that's the next thing. So that's a whole chromosome, uh, regions that are conserved in two different species. Uh, and so in this case are hi highlighted and you can click on any of these um, uh, regions that you, are, that, you wanna, that you wanna see in more detail. Um, th that was a, a, the location view, so it's, it's a whole region. Now you can also view into a particular gene. You can click right there on the genome browser and get a lot more information about that particular gene. Uh, say ontology, you want to see uh, what, uh, what uh, g uh, geoterms are associated with your gene of interest, and here is the ancestry chart of that, or the association for that particular co-term. Uh, you can see uh, gene trees for, for the, the gene of interest. You'll see uh, there is a list of geoterms. So you can click on any of those uh, nodes for the trees and expand them or collapse them as you wish, um, and then you can get a lot more information. Uh, see how they li li line up. You can also select a particular, uh, all of those uh, genes that have in common a geo term annotated, in this case, microtubule associated um, complex. Um, then uh, you can get the same information for those gene trees in a text form, and you can also get the alignments. And, and this, is, this follows the cluster W um, format that you, are, uh, that you might be familiar with, where you see just uh, amino acids um, sequences. Um, the la, uh, there is also an orthologs uh, table that you can you can see for that particular gene. You can see all of the species. What are the uh, the best? Uh, what are the orthologs uh, uh, for uh, for each? And what was that? <laughs> oh, the ortholog the alignment for that uh, for a given ortholog. Um, the last thing on the transcript tab, you see uh, the various tabs on the top. Um, you, we're going to see just variation. You can, you can uh, zoom in into a particular, uh, you can look at a whole region, a, a whole gene, all the, all the variants also color coded for uh, functionality. Um, and you can click and zoom in in a particular variant and get a lot more information about that. This is the page that, we, that the video ends up in where you can click on any of those links and get a little more information about it. If you want to see genotypes in various populations that, that have been, this SNP has been um, typed, you, this will allow you to do that. Okay, so that was quick. Um, how do I go back to my presentation? Oh, this on the back, right? Yep. Here, okay, good. 
Oh, okay. I'll just sort of manual. Okay. Um, so I'll just stand here. Um, so I already mentioned the genome browser. And there are other tools and services that we provide, include, and is, these are just a few. There is a Grameen Mart, which is, a, if you have used the Ensemble Mart, it's just a kind of a customized way. It's a, the Mart comes from going to the supermarket, where you can, you can um, make customized uh, queries. You can bring your shopping list and go through that. And I'm going to show you a quick example. You can get uh, bulk downloads of data through the FTP site. And you can, if you prefer to do programmatic, uh, programmatic access, have programmatic access to the Grameen databases, you can use the public MySQL. Um, so for the Grameen Mart, uh, here is an example, a use case where um, say that you wanted to get all of the transcription factors that have a stop gained um, allele. Uh, so you, what you're going to do is uh, you, can, you can create a list of interpro domains that are, that are um, that are that are um, that are uh, that are a feature for all of the transcription factors that you're interested in, and um, and uh, select uh, you select your species of, of interest, and you can uh, look either at genes or a, a variations currently. Although uh, we also provide map markers and QTL data, but these are these are the the things that you that um. Uh, the, these are the uh, main databases. Um, so, you, with those, with uh, specifying the, the the conditions that you want, you can you can filter the the whole the entire database for those uh, variants that satisfy your conditions. And here is just a quick example of of the results. Uh, you see the interpro domains that describe the particular conditions for the transcription factors that you're interested in, and you see that all of these uh, the variants these are uh, names of SNPs. Uh, and this is the stop gain, which is you know, a, nons uh, a nonsense mutation that, uh, for those particular uh, SNPs. Okay, um, the F FTP site is simply here. Um, here is the, the URL, and um, you get a, a, a number of, uh, of, of data that you can uh, download in bulk. And here is the, the way to, program, uh, to access uh, the public MySQL. Um, in addition, I'm just going to quickly mention through uh, two different platforms that we currently have to, uh, to get uh, uh, pathways. Uh, the, the original one is the BioSeq platform, and this is the fir first one I'm going to show. In, in the last, I'm going to leave for last the Plant Reactor, which is the, our latest um, big development. For BioSeq, Bio um, it's, uh, uh, we have uh, Dramin develop uh, uh, pathway databases for four species, rice, sorghum, maize, and brachypodium. And um, these, were, uh, used with, uh, these were done with the BioSeq um, software provided by SRI. Uh, we also have mirrors for other uh, six more uh, databases, including, uh, oh, sorry, six more species, including uh, potato, tomato, coffee, um, Arabidopsis. Uh, and we have uh, some plant, major plant reference genome you know, um, uh, databases. Um, this is one, uh, this is the overview of uh, one of the home pages for uh, right size in this case. And here you can, you can either use Gamin directly or you can download uh, the entire database and work with it uh, on the desktop and that uh, allows you a, a, little, a few more features. You can browse pathways, you can browse enzymes, uh, and uh, you can browse uh, genes, uh, com compounds uh, you can choose. And this is what you, you would uh, see. This is a, an example of a pathway, uh, gibberellin biosynthesis in, uh, in rice. And uh, you can also, one, uh, one good feature about, about the pathways is that you get uh, a little icon that will tell you whether th this pathway has been manually created or uh, there is uh, simply computational evidence for it. Um, here are uh, two, two different uh, computational or experimentally validated. Or, and, and you also will, will get uh, uh, links to the, to the uh, literature reference that, that, uh, where, uh, that, that document this evidence. Um, you can see, uh, for example, the co compounds would be uh, this uh, one compound to, un to create another compound, and the enzymes that are reacting um, uh, to catalyze that uh, reaction. Uh, then you can uh, also zoom in or, uh, to get uh, uh, to the level of ke the chemical structures, and you can also do species comparisons. So uh, for, the give for a given pathway, that example that we had, the Giberlin, you can, uh, you can select the species that you want to see, 
and get all of the en the enzymes and the the, uh, the ortholog enzymes and, and the process in, in uh, other species. Okay, so I went to that. And the last one is just a plant reactome. Currently, uh, this, is, this is equivalent, uh, this is uh, based on the human reactome that has been um, around for several years. Uh, our first, uh, our beta version, it only includes uh, rice pathways and uh, these, are uh, these are well curated. Um, Mostly, and um, in, in, in the near future, we, we, alre we already have Arabidopsis pathways uh, extracted from Arasaic. Uh, the next thing is going to be uh, maize pro uh, projections into orthologous proje projections into maize. So this is the uh, home page for the plant reactor. Uh, from here, you can also search for pathway reactions and genes, and uh, you can do also uh, more advanced searches by looking for exact phrases and and and, and so on. Um, this is just a, uh, an example of those uh, results for, for a query. And this I, I, I'm not going to uh, touch. I, I just want to say that uh, we collaborate with iPlant in various uh, of, of our research uh, uh, projects to provide uh, uh, pre-computed uh, data sets um, to the public. Um, and they are currently hosting our, our, our uh, pathway databases, in fact. Um, and this is just uh, the, the team that works uh, for Grammy. Questions? <laughs> so, thank you very much.